please do not fall. Please do not fall. Auto focus. All right, guys, what is up, YouTube? I'm at work right now and my camera's falling. No, come on. So frustrating. I need a new tripod. All right, guys, what is up, YouTube? I'm here at work right now and I don't think my camera's falling anymore, which is really good. All right, I'm here on Instagram Live. So if you haven't added me Instagram Live, you got you better make sure you do that right now, guys. Um, what I want to talk about right now, for me, this is kind of a serious topic. Why? It's because I think this is something that many developers will have to face, will have to go through. This is a situation that we will all have to face. And so if you've been following me for the last couple months, then you would know that I left my first developer job about two months ago. I remember giving my two weeks to my first job, my two weeks notice, and it was terrifying. And what I mean, like, when I gave my two weeks notice to my first job, when I told it that I'm leaving, it was hard for me to do. Why? It, I mean, that company gave me an opportunity to change my life, right? I had no experience. I've been coding for only three months. I had a very weak portfolio. They had every reason to let me go for the first six months I was there because I was literally just learning on the job. I didn't know JavaScript. I didn't know jQuery. I was learning jQuery on the job. I didn't get good and comfortable at JavaScript until what? It took me a year and a half to get good at it because I was doing so many other things at the job. And so it, it was hard for me to get my two weeks in my first job. They gave me the the way they helped me get my foot in the door. Because this is something where all of us will eventually have to leave, I think what I want to be able to do is share with you guys why I left my first developer job. What is that sound? What the heck? Do you guys hear that too? Is it just me? You guys hear that? Oh my gosh, it's the AC. I'm not intending to badmouth my first company. I have nothing bad to say about them whatsoever. They are a great company. They took care of me. So here are the reasons why I left my first developer job. Number one, I think the first thing you have to look at, which is most important when it comes to a job, whatever industry you're in, is number one, are you happy at the company? Do you feel like that's somewhere that you can actually stay for the rest of your career? I remember that's exactly what I thought when I first joined the company because they gave me an opportunity to really change my life. But as time progressed, as I was there for year number one, Year number two, when I was, I was learning, just looking at my environment and looking at my future and my goals and the family that I want to eventually have and eventually get married and my health and thinking of my future, that is not something that I could have done if I stayed at the company. Yes, I was happy there, but when I thought about my future, if I was to stay at this company for five to 10 years, I wouldn't be happy because my life would be exactly the same I wouldn't really be growing. The raise they would give me eventually wouldn't, I don't think it would have been enough. And so I wouldn't really be growing this way. I'd just be growing this way as a developer. So number one, I wasn't as happy working there anymore, which is why number two, I started applying to other jobs, right? Now, the second reason on why I left my company as well was I wasn't growing anymore. And what I mean by this is that in regards to skill as developer, they hired me as a junior. They took me in as someone who had no experience. And so what that means, or what that meant, was that the products they gave me weren't that hard, to be honest. In regards to skill, if I stay here working with what I'm working with, I will not get better as a developer. And let's say if I do get laid off, let's say if I do lose my job, it would be extremely difficult for me to get a new job. And so, number two, I wasn't growing in skill. Uh, the only reason I was growing as a developer was because I was challenging myself, learning React, learning VGS, which we're doing there, but I wasn't working on it as much at the company to push myself to learn back more, right? So that's number two. Okay, uh, the third reason why I left is because I was stagnant. I was comfortable. The job was really easy. And I like, I could have stayed there for a few more years, to be honest, and not grow. And I was extremely comfortable not studying new languages. There was a time where for six months, okay, for six months, while working at that company, I didn't study code. Because why? I was mainly focused on building a YouTube channel, creating videos, um, and doing all these other things, right? And so like for six months, I didn't study any code. And I, and I knew it. And it's funny, because I would make videos about how we shouldn't be stagnant, because if you're stagnant as a developer, not learning, not growing, not pushing yourself, you'll become less valuable, and that was me. And that was happening to me. And so why I left was because I was really comfortable. I wasn't being pushed as much as I wish I could have, and I wasn't pushing myself enough to. Secondly, I was always, I felt like I was distracted working there. Number three, I just felt like 
I, I don't know, like, I don't know how else to explain this. I just felt like I had it really easy and I just, yeah, I just felt really comfortable there. And, and as good as that may seem, right, a lot of people really can't say you're comfortable at your job. That's something you could, you could just go back and like, it, it, it kind of felt like it was just a machine where I go in and I do my work and I don't even have to think. I could do the other things on the side, watch a video while coding and not think about it. And like, it just, it just felt like I was just doing the same thing over and over again. And actually that was, that's what I was doing. I was doing the same thing over and over again. And that's why I also had to leave. And I didn't want to, I really didn't want to. Um, but if we remain comfortable as developer at our companies and we don't push ourselves, then you will stop growing and you'll become less valuable. Maybe not that company, but as the, the world is advancing in technology and you're remaining the same, you become less valuable. That's why even here at my company now, so I'm comfortable working with Vue.js and I did forget a little bit because I'm not doing it as much as I, I could be doing it at this company yet. But actually what I'm doing now is that um, even though I'm working with when I'm working here at company, I'm actually learning the Mern stack on my own. And no one knows this yet. I haven't told any of you guys this yet. I'm actually learning Mern stack on my own. When I go home tonight, I'm gonna go home and work on learning React again. Uh, I wanna again learn Express, I wanna learn MongoDB, and I wanna learn Node.js. And these are things that I'm doing on the side to really push myself even that much more. Um, but why, I don't have to do it. I mean, I have a good job, I have a really good job. With YouTube income and my job income, I could be very comfortable, but I don't wanna be comfortable, which is why I'm making a goal of myself is to come to work Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. and code from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And after work, I'm gonna code again for another hour. Um, but why, I don't have to, but I'm doing this because I don't wanna remain stagnant and I wanna to continue to push myself and I continue to wanna grow and I want my love for coding to grow as well. But yeah, I mean, other than that, man, like, that, those are the three reasons why I left my job. And I didn't want to leave, I really didn't. I was, I remember talking to the moderators on my Discord channel, check it out, link in the description below. I remember talking to even teachers at Treehouse, check it out, link in the description below, <laughs> right? Plug in, plug in. Um, and I, I didn't know what to do. I remember talking to even my friends and my girlfriend and everything about like, should I leave and I don't want to. And it, I mean, it was really tempting to stay. I had every reason I could stay. They didn't want me to leave. They were really trying to keep me, keep me there, but at the end of the day, I had to think of what was best for my future. I had to think of what was best for me and how I want to grow. And if I really loved code, I wouldn't have stayed at a company. At least for me, not the other developers. They're doing a lot of crazy, like really important, interesting things. But for me, on my position at company, I felt like if I stayed, I wouldn't grow and I put my future at risk. Although it was a risk to come here at Entrepreneur 2 because I had no idea what I'd be doing. Maybe I wouldn't be good enough, but I think I'm making it, right? Um, I had to take that risk because I want to continue to grow. I want to continue to love code. And I want to continue to make things and create things and do things I always thought of that I could, I, like, I wanted to push my potential to an entirely new level. And that's why I joined my new company. That's why I left my first one. Um, now, I don't know many companies that will allow you to vlog in the office, which is crazy, and they let me do that here. Um, and I plan on staying here for a while because the culture here is amazing. People's amazing. Jesse's here. Developers are cool. Um, and I just love my job. I really do. And, I'm, and I have no regrets leaving my first job. It was the best decision I ever made in regards to my career in this industry. And if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it again in a heartbeat. So yeah, that's why I left my first developer job. Um, if anyone here has left a first developer job, make sure you let me know in the comment below and why you left and the difficulties of it, because it is hard. You build relationships at those first companies and I still message them, well, at least my manager there every single day. Uh, we talk about things too. Um, you know, I love the people there, but I have to think of what's best for my future and myself too. So yeah, that's why I left. But yeah, anyway, this video was too long. I tried to make this video short, but I made it a lot longer than I thought I would. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. And if you haven't yet, man, I'm doing this video live on Instagram, right here on Instagram. So if you haven't hit me up on Instagram, make sure you follow me there. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys later. All right, this is Kashan, Life of Developer, and I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.